In this video, we'll go over the basics of when and how to use conditional pricing in a CBC study in Lighthouse Studio. Sometimes contract studies might have attributes with levels of significantly different qualities or quantities, and so it doesn't make sense to show the same levels of price with each level of those attributes. The conditional pricing feature lets us create a lookup table to determine the prices to show for specific combinations of attributes. So for example, let's say we're conducting a study for a backyard sports court installation company and trying to measure, among other things, the effects of price and court size on consumer preference. Many of our target customers may wish to install large multi-sport courts, while some will choose to install a court sized and designed for only one sport. And since it wouldn't be realistic to use the same levels of price for a 7,200 square foot multi-purpose court and an individual court less than one third of the size, we'll use conditional pricing. All right, let's look at how we might set this up in Lighthouse Studio. So we've added a CBC exercise, and we'll go to the Attributes tab and see that we've six total attributes, material, price, court size, fencing, lighting, and warranty. Right now our levels of price are low, medium, and high. And these are representing the three tiers of pricing. The internal design matrix will only reflect these three levels of price, but we'll set it up to display appropriate prices for each tier. For court size, we have 2,200 square feet, which is the typical size of a pickleball court. 4,700 square feet, which is the typical size of a basketball pickleball combo. And 7,200 square feet, the typical size of a pickleball, badminton, basketball, tennis, multi-sport court. So to set up our conditional price, we'll click on conditional relationships and then click to add a relationship and we'll include price and court size. Uh, just to note, it is possible to add uh, multiple attributes in this relationship, um, but that'll lead to additional complications in the analysis. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. For now, we'll just do price and court size. Click continue. So here we'll set the type of relationship to conditional price, price, and it'll replace price in the concept. And what this does is it tells the software automatically to insert this price table into the choice simulator. So here's where we'll enter in our uh, price table. Uh, as you can see here, our client has reported an average price of $25,000 for the pickleball court, $35,000 for basketball, and $60,000 for tennis. So we've taken that as the medium price and subtracted 40% and added 40% um, to create our table. So we'll insert that information in. As you can see, as you click into each of these cells, in the bottom left, it shows you the combination of levels in case you get lost. But once we've included that, we can click OK. And then our conditional pricing is set up. So if we click Preview here, we can see that the conjoint reflects a price appropriate to the court size. So now that we have this set up, uh, there are a few considerations to mention in the analysis phase. So first of all, after incorporating conditional price, we can no longer interpret the part worth utilities calculated as holding all else equal, since the utility for each court type is now calculated given its average price. One approach to get around this issue is to focus your reporting on simulation and sensitivity analysis results rather than on the utilities themselves. Additionally, in our scenario, we varied the levels of price up and down by a set percentage across the three levels of size, in this case 40%, leading to a proportional or symmetric conditional pricing table. If instead we had varied each level by an absolute fixed amount, such as $15,000, our pricing table would likely be asymmetric, which would require us to specify appropriate interaction effects to correctly fit the data. Lastly, in our scenario, we made price conditional on just one other attribute. Had we also made it conditional on other attributes, such as fencing or lighting, it would require a three-way interaction. And since our Logit, Latent Class, and CBCHB programs are limited to modeling only main effects and two-way interactions, we would have to manually reformat the CVC data file and collapse all the conditional attributes prior to specifying the interactions with price. This has been a quick look at conditional pricing in a choice-based conjoint study. Conditional pricing is an advanced feature available in Lighthouse Studio with the Advanced Design Module CVC and Advanced Suite subscriptions. If you need to add this functionality to your subscription, feel free to reach out to a member of our sales team.